Japan and today I'm only eating Japanese street food for the next 24 hours. Let's go! My name's Ali, and while I recently worked on cruise ships, before that I actually used to live in Japan. Since being away, one of the things that I've missed the most about Japan is definitely the incredible food, and we have to get dessert. So after a very long day of flying all the way from LAX to Tokyo, today we're gonna be spending the day exploring, and the only thing on the menu is street food. Let's go! This video is brought to you by Aerolo. Good morning from Tokyo. We are gonna be checking out here in just a little bit before we start our little adventure and then we'll be on our way. Okay, it is now time to check out of the hotel. We've been staying at the Inn Omotesando for the past couple days and it's been great. The location is awesome, but we are going somewhere else and then also starting a new adventure. Tristan actually doesn't know where we're going next, so. Having fun, exploring. I think he's right. <laughs> Lots of good noms to be had here. Yeah, we're gonna have lots of We made it! We made it! The first stop of today is Skiji Fish Market. It smells delicious. Where do we even start? So Skiji Fish Market is one of the places that has the freshest fish in Tokyo. All the fish is caught every day and it is just so incredible. So we're gonna go get some. I'm so hungry. <laughs> First meal of the day, some fatty tuna. Okay, here we go. Should we start with the fattiest one first? Mm. Oh my god. It's so fatty, I can barely like chew it. <laughs> oh, that is so insane. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> That's good. That is fresh. I feel like I've never had fresher fish than at Skiji Fish Market, so it's just good to be here. <laughs> we have found our next victim. Next up on the list, scallops. Scallop skewers. Uh, he thought so. Hi. It's almost ready. Hi. 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 Yeah. That's a lot of flavor. A lot, a lot going, going on. on there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all tasting pretty good. Yeah. Please. <laughs> we never cut here. <laughs> it's a it's a bit fishy for my liking. The scallop is great though. I love scallops. Skiji Fish Market is definitely one of my favorite places to get street food in Tokyo. It's definitely one of the most popular spots, very touristy and known for the fish auction that used to happen at like five in the morning. Although it doesn't happen anymore, it is still a very bumping spot. <laughs> and now we're going to our next place. Really quick, so throughout the course of this video, we are gonna be going to five very different spots all over Tokyo. And although in theory, yes, I could get us around if I had to, it is very helpful having access to the internet. So when I first moved to Japan seven years ago, honestly crazy that it's already been over seven years, I used to have a pocket Wi-Fi. It was like this little device that you used to carry around and then that was kind of your access to the internet. But within the last two years, I started using an Aerolo eSIM. Yes, Aerolo and I are partners now, but I started using Aerolo way before. And now I get a special discount code for everyone. So the very first time I ever heard of eSIMs was when I did my first cruise contract in the Mediterranean. And guys, it literally saved my life at that time. Like nothing else was working. And now I've been able to apply it to pretty much any international trip I take, including Japan. So it's kind of like when you put a physical SIM into your phone, except there is nothing physical about it. You just download it and then bam. It's there. It works 100% digitally, which is just super convenient. So if you go on the app, you just pick the region that you're gonna be visiting. It's either region or country. From there, they have different packages that you can choose from depending on how many gigabytes you need or how long your stay is. And then you just buy now, install, and it's ready to go. If you are new to eSIMs, I understand it can be a bit intimidating. I definitely was intimidated at first as well. I thought it was just gonna be, eh. but I promise it really is just 
that simple. It's a game changer. So for this trip in particular, I'm really thankful because Tristan and I both have Aerolo eSIMs, which just made it a lot easier when it came to getting in contact and trying to reunite with one another. If you haven't tried it yet, you can get $3 off using my code or you can click on the link below. You won't regret it, I promise. <laughs> Thank you Aerolo for sponsoring this video. And now back to Japan. So this next stop is called Yanaka Ginza. I have wanted to go for a while and just never been in the cards. So it'll be a first time for both of us. Already the difference from Tsukiji Market to here is night and day. It feels like there's nobody here. <laughs> it almost is like a hidden secret. Nani desu ka? Hi, there's a lot of croquettes here on the street. The one that we just went to has pretty much beef. So I'm gonna give it a try. Tristan's giving it a yeah, shot. We're giving it a go here. Oh, it's nice and warm. Yeah. Mm, that is good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She said this is the the number one. The number one. So. I, I would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> the number one that you've had. <laughs> the number one that I've had, exactly. Cheese and potato. Hi, daijoubi desu. Got the goods. I asked her if she had any that were not meat, and she said that this one was cheese and potato. Wah! Deep fried goodness. Mmm. Mmm. It's kind of sweet. Tastes like sweet, cheesy mashed potatoes on the inside. Something I'm also loving about this little area is that there's cats everywhere. So like apparently back in the day there used to be like wild cats just roaming around this area a lot and even though they're not here anymore, there's like fake cats now everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> made it to Sensoichi Temple! This is probably one of the busiest places in Tokyo. Tourism is rampant here, but like I would say personally for good reason. It feels like all of Japan is here right now. There are so many humans. It is packed. First up is Ningyo Yaki. Next we're gonna get a soft rice cracker. I actually haven't had one of these before, so We'll give it a go. Japanese name, Asakusa Nori. Ah, but She said that this was the most popular rice cracker. Here she is. Oh. Mm. That is good. I actually love rice crackers, but I've never had one as like a form of street food before, so pleasantly surprised. Here's right, Tristan's We're, we're gonna try. give it a go here. It's fun. It's dry. <laughs> Very good. It takes a second to chew because it's so dry. <laughs> Number two. Next up, got some nice packaging. Ooh. That was very, very smooth. And they're oh. all individually packed as well. Ooh. We asked about getting just one to try and we could just split it, but they said they only do packages of eight. So now we have eight of these. So we're set. Clink it and sink it. Oh, that's nice. Like mm hmm. Mm. It's not overpowering, like super sweet, but mm -hmm. it's nice and subtle. I'm already going in for second. <laughs> okay, we're back in the game, and it is mochi time. We're getting some dango. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These look delicious. Here it is. Here it is. I've had a really fun time today. <laughs> yeah, I think this might be my favorite snack, because <laughs> it was a cheap microphone. Let's try it. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are the thoughts? So it's like um, a savory mochi ball, but it has like the soy glaze on top of it. Kind of has like a soy sauce yeah, aftertaste a little bit. Like a creamy it's, yeah, soy it's sauce. Very different, yeah. What'd you think? It was great. Really? It's like nothing I've ever tried before, but. Would you come again? I would come again. This one's my favorite. We got the Ushaimas. <laughs> This is one of Ali's favorites, so excited to try it. Oh, much nice and light. Oh, there's like a custard. Oh, that is very good. Mm -hmm. That is definitely a favorite. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you went in on that. Everything you remember it to be? Yes. Did you not have any of the strawberry? No, not on my first bite. Okay. You another one? Re retake. Another bite. Yeah, retake. All right. Oh, 
the strawberry makes it. It was it was good even without, but he he thought Yay! Okay. Alright, I'm trying it. Another one of my favorites. Another favorite here. Show it to us. The beautiful Yay. reveal. Yay! Mmm. It's like a delicious pastry. Mm. That is very good. It's been so long since I've had my last melon pun. Oh, it's so good. We're going to explode pretty soon. In the span of an hour, too. Yeah. We've found like all of them. But melon pun is worth it. Do not get the one from 7 Eleven, it is not good. intermission after leaving Sensoji Temple. Were you tired or is it just me? <laughs> Food coma. She was a sleepy bean and she had a little nap. <laughs> we're gonna try and head out. And I needed a, a nap. But we're not quitters. We're not done yet. <laughs> There's still more to go. Dinner time. I know we've just been snacking all day, but this is gonna be kind of like a dinner for us. So it's actually been seven years since I've been here, which is kind of crazy to say, but it is cool to be back. We found a spot, but we are on the second floor, so not quite on the street, if you will, but we're just taking a look at the menu. You got some drinks? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Up first is the edamame. So it's the potato salad. <laughs> it's just very mysterious looking. I wasn't sure. There's a lot of things on this potato salad. Like peppercorns. It looked like ice cream. Mm. Oh. These are like pickles with curry powder. Yeah, there you go. Three different skewers here. Some skewers. Yep. And I got some shiitake mushrooms. This isn't our last stop, so to leave some room. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was good. He is a fan. Big fan. Loving it. Happy belly. Omoide Yokocho was just so awesome. It just hit the spot. Obviously, it was Tristan's first time there, and we both got to just experience it together, which was really fun. Loved it. Now we are on to our last stop of the night. Bittersweet, but last today. one. Woo! We have made it to Takashita Street. Woohoo! So we have been here already, but the main thing I wanted to do was try some of the food because we didn't get to do that last time. So we'll see what is still open. It's currently 8.30 and we can get some good noms along the way. It is neat seeing this during the night. I was like, was a wait a minute, we've been here before. <laughs> Target acquired. So most things here are closed right now, but the main thing I wanted us to try was one of the crepes. In Harajuku, there are crepes everywhere, which seems super random, but it's just it's just what it is. And we have to get dessert. There are so many options too. How do we choose? How does one pick? Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Brownie, custard, whipped cream, yeah, chocolate. Like yeah, yeah. Lots, lots of, of fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Here she is. I actually haven't had one of these in a really long time because I used to get them a bunch when I first moved here. <laughs> these are really good. Very good. They're so flavorful too. How does it make you feel that this is the last, oh the goodness. last food of the evening? The tummy is, <laughs> is glad that it's the last thing. <laughs> it's but ready for a break. It's ready for a break, but it's all been so good. Yay! It's been a good day. I love how diverse like the food culture is here in Japan. It just feels so good to be back. Because I lived in Japan for the better half of three years, the glamour definitely wore off a bit while I was here. But since this is my first time coming as a tourist, it just made today super special. And guys, this is only the beginning of my Japan trip. The next time you'll see me, I'll be doing something that I actually wasn't allowed to do as a resident. So leave your guesses in the comments and I will see you guys next time. We out. <laughs>